Miracle Rogue lists, so that might be it. Yeah, abusing Auctioneer. Yeah, exactly. You put and getting off of Big Van Cleef. Exactly. You put a bunch of bananas on Auctioneer. But it always lost to Mage. Every time. So. Yeah, they just Flame Waker your uh, Stealth Auctioneer. <laughs> that wasn't the problem. They just killed you too fast. But. Yeah. Also, okay, we, we talk about Flame Waker like it's some big thing. But we haven't mentioned how absurd Mana Worm is in this mode. Yeah, Mana Worm and Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah, like, we saw... Um... We saw so much, um... Uh, yeah, we saw so much, um... What was it? Yeah, we saw so much Mana Worm, and there's so many lethals in Mana Worm and, like, swapping bananas that I just didn't see, ever. Yeah, swapping the, the three health to the attack, and then that attack getting buffed was so much damage. Exactly. Uh, you'd be like, oh, he's a Mana Worm, that might be pretty good, and then it's like, oh, his opponent's dead. <laughs> so. So I think we are getting into the finals here. Yeah, we are getting into the finals. Oh, Leah, looks like this is a zoo deck with Wild Pyro, though. Why? Running Wild Pyro in a zoo deck. Yeah. I mean, it's you can you can even pop your own Nurbian eggs, for example, and the bananas just let you proc it. Um. I think you wild power. I think you just play ooze or egg, and you kill the chow with your chow. Yeah. Also, double chow. Also, chow in both decks. Yeah, I think it. It usually takes care of one in, or one drops, and then gets buffed by the bananas to be uh, more annoying throughout the game. Just gets you a large, large lead early, and. Uh, and lets you build up more of a card advantage. Yeah, exactly. So shield and mini bot drawn. Yeah, I mean the big banana is huge here, though. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, because of the echoing is in his hand. Though he could actually wild pyro. Oh my god, this is a crazy turn. He can wild pyro. And then big banana the Nerubian egg. And then he can kill the mini bot that way. Oh yeah, he can. It's so crazy. He does have the uh Void Collar and Doomguard combo in hand. Do you think he plays Malganus? Uh I doubt he plays Malganus. It is pretty slow, but if he is running if he is running two void collars, I could see it, definitely. Yeah, maybe. A mind control tech. We saw some of those yesterday, but they didn't really get off uh, any of the swappings. Uh, yeah, exactly. A lot of people are playing it. I guess it's kind of a 3 3 for 3 which is fine, and it's also a catch-up card. Also, generally, we see people want to play more minions in this decks in this format, rather than playing spells, so it might be kind of a spell effect, you know? Yeah. Looks like he's just going to throw it on the Void Collar and... He's going to trade? Yeah, he's going to trade into the 1-1 one -one to get the Nerubian. Yeah. He does have the he, sword, though. He probably wants to play, like, the... the mind control tech instead of, for example, a dark bomb, so I think that's the rationale behind it. There's no consecration in Nogit's hand, only equality. And... he can go all in on an echoing use here if he wants, interesting enough. Or he could just play one big banana and tap. Do you think yes, he sir? should have um, big banana the zombie chow and killed the void collar, or was he too scared of demons? I I'd understand he didn't want a free doom guard. He probably is running multiple silence effects and wants to draw into them, or just wants to draw a way to kill them first. I see. So two five six is spawned. 
I know, Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins from the Paladin. I guess it might be flavor for flavor reasons. Leroy is a Paladin after all. Yeah. Equality Rotten Banana on the Doom Guards. Oh, double Rotten Banana. The value. I'm just gonna hero power because he can't really do anything else. Yes, and then he actually... Felix has Ron Banana for his opponent's 1-1. One, one. So you can actually keep getting value off the ooze by hitting him for 5. He can actually... I think he should probably start tapping at some point. I wonder. Yeah, that's to the get thing it, more minions in his hand. That's the thing about Warlock in this format. Often you have so much just mana to spend that you just don't want to hear a power. Yeah, plays two eggs. Yeah. So what is the best play here for Paladin? Just... So I like that. Hmm. That saves four damage. Yeah, he's just under too much pressure to do much else here. Yeah. And now, actually, Felix has no efficient clear on the on the Trog. Actually, he can trade his bananas for it, uh, his dragon eggs for it if he wants, which is really nice. Ends up using the rotten banana as mind control tech instead. Going to buff up a dragon yeah. egg and get a two one from killing the silver hand knight or not silver hand knight. Silver hand. It's recruit. also it's also pretty good to keep up the tokens because it just makes consecration a dead card. But wild pyro drawn for oh my god, shenanigans could happen next turn. I'm not sure well, I like using the qualities. Yeah, but he can probably just use multiple bananas. I don't actually like using the bananas here unless you're just going all in on this minion. It's actually huge though, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, and he has Leroy in his hand, so maybe he's just thinking of going face and winning that way. Mm. Boom is drawn though for Felix. Haven't seen him in a while. I think we've seen him in a couple of players' hands, but he hasn't really been played to efficiency yet. Ooh's drawn for Felix, so... Interesting stuff. I think Voidwalker's probably fine for just halting Sorcerer's progress. Yeah, you just definitely. start racing him, right? Interesting enough, if he gets enough bananas, he might want to... Leroy might kill the Voidwalker and lethal his opponent. <laughs> yeah, or he could, uh... Pyromancer and swap the Voidwalker. Yeah, exactly. Actually swaps the uh, sorcerer. Another pyromancer drawn for less attack. Well, that makes that's pretty good. But he has the banana, the pyro, right? He could double pyromancer. Actually, that that would kill both. <laughs> So he loses a couple minions. Looks like heal bot here, I think. Oh, he just lets his pyro die. I guess that makes sense, because, oh, he can get another banana now. And, oh, wow. Wow. Getting really close to killing him with Leroy. Double ooze in the Warlock deck. Must have just can been he, expecting a lot of weapon classes. Can he even get rid of the Dragonkin? It looks like it threw all of the bananas. Somehow, yes, there is a way. <laughs> Potassium finds a way. Just Those in up is 2-1. Clears the Sorcerer. Though with the Leroy in hand, we could see some bursts from the Paladin. Considering the Warlock's only at 13 health. 
Depends if he ignores the heal bot, which I doubt he will. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he's swapping. Yeah, he's just killing it for free. Though, Pyro does do a whole heck of a lot here. That is a lot of damage in hand. His opponent can actually Pyro, Leroy, Banana the Leroy, and kill uh, all the whelps. <laughs> Looks like but he's just looks... setting up for a Leroy and uh, True Silver turn. Yeah, he'll True Silver. No, he's gonna True Silver now to get more damage. Oh, yeah. He might be dead without Leroy, even. I don't actually think. Th there's a decision in uh, that Felix has made that I actually really like. I don't think he's playing any. Um, what's the card I'm thinking of? I don't think he's playing any. I don't think he's playing any implosions. Oh, yeah. My, that's I feel a card like that's, a lot of people are playing. Yeah, I feel like it might be a bit too clunky here. And, well, Felix is dead. Yeah, he has no way to hold off the Leroy. Yeah, he could have played Morganis there, actually, but he would probably still have died. Yeah. Leroy Jenkins is humility in the same deck. <laughs> an entertaining decision. Control card and an aggro card. Yeah. Well, Humility can also be thought of as a tempo card, though. It just has a ton of utility. So game one goes to Nogit in the finals. Yeah, exciting stuff. Paladin requesting the help of a local Paladin to help out. So he is running an implosion. Yeah. Interesting. I just didn't hadn't we just hadn't seen any of that game, so Yeah, this is our first game watching him, so we don't really know his deck yet. Yeah. Gets the turn one zombie chow. Chow versus Chow. Do you think you hit the 2-3 here? Yeah, because you you just want to start the banana cycling rolling, you know? Interestingly yeah, enough, I think this matchup is good for the Warlock because of his double ooze, right? <laughs> yeah, he definitely has weapons to use them on. Ooh, he can actually do a lot of good plays here with his Dragon Egg if he gets a normal banana. Wow. Yeah, he gets one. Yeah. He can play the banana, and then he can play the second dragon egg, if he wants to. Yeah, that's probably correct. And then he just plays the banana on the whelp, right? And... Or he just plays banana on the second dragon egg, that's also possible. Yeah, he this wants to activate This makes true silver it. really bad, and it actually does overdraw no get. So what do you think the play is here for Nogit? I don't know. I don't think he has a lot of good plays here, to be honest. Maybe just... Oh, Trog. he's trogging. That makes a lot of sense, though. Matches up pretty well against his opponent's board. Yeah, and uses two cards so he doesn't overdraw if Trog gets killed. MC is played here early enough that... Uh, drawn here early enough that he might actually get in, get value off of it. I wonder. He's very hesitant to play the Void Caller without any demons in his hand. Yeah, but you have to pretend you have one, right? <laughs> yeah. It's always the idea that it could be a Malganus. Exactly. And he has no BGH in hand. does have true silver here. Yeah, and he does have a lot of bananas for the Strog. Is he just... he's he's scared now. <laughs> if he just he goes for he it, wants. I think Nogit might have this match, actually. 
He knows one card is a banana, and he knows I he's recently be... drawn those two cards. I might be calling it early here, but I think, you know. I don't know. I think with Implosion and other cards, Felix could definitely take it back. But uh, Tyrion Especially is very scary. It. Double MCT, double ooze in his deck. He does actually have ooze in hand, so... And can clear the trog with his dragon egg. So he's used the void collar instead. Taps for Sylvanas. Getting Sylvanas versus uh, Tyrion would be really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. He doesn't actually have a great play this turn. Uh, no get, I mean. Oh, Eldor makes it better. He can Peacekeeper the 3 2 or something. <gasps> Looks like he's just going to buff up his shield and minibot. Yeah, Sylvanas is good against that one too. <laughs> Get Sylvanas right before turn 6 as well. Yeah, so Lannis probably gets played here, and just goes face with the rest. Starts pressuring him. Sadly, so Lannis is not a demon. <laughs> sadly. No, not that sadly, actually. I take that back. It is kind of hard to um, kill the Sylvanas when... You know that the shielded minibot is going to lose its divine shield next turn, though. You don't really want yeah. to steal an injured six or a six-one. Good point. So he may just kill it here and save yeah, Solanus for later. Probably Banana's up Void Color or something, or just passes. I guess he can still Sylvanas Banana next turn, so can keep it if he wants to. Do you understand why he reversed the Void Color there? Just for less damage. Oh my gosh, the Doomguard. He can play both Doomguard and Sylvanas this turn if he wants to. <laughs> yeah. Pretty back-breaking. He realizes he can do that. Yeah. I wonder if he just uses his Chow and leaves his thing at 5 health. He definitely could. Okay, it goes for that instead. He might just also start tapping instead of playing Sylvanas, but no, he plays it. I guess it makes a lot of sense because he wants to play the most expensive card in his hand, and then he can start making like weird banana plays now if, you know. And it is getting really close to Tyrion turn. As, yeah. But it just Quality gets dealt with really true. quickly. Yeah. Interestingly enough, Nogit, I don't know if he intentionally, but accidentally doesn't play a fourth minion for the <laughs> MCT. Implosion picked up by Felix. Implosion for three. Yeah. Not that bad. He can rotten banana and then he can actually swap his chow. Oh, he's just gonna trade the chow and then he's gonna go all in on the ooze since his opponent just played an equality. Does the paladin overdraw here? It No no he's no. not he's at eight. He, he's eight cards right now. Yeah. Looking good for Felix right now. True Silver not going to do a whole lot. Decides to Peacekeeper. And Leroy. Huh. So he's deciding to clear the one of the big ones. I guess this sets his board up in an interesting way. He's setting up for Tyrion, it looks like. Really scared of those big slimes. Well, 
Lots of minions for Felix to buff up with bananas, though. Yeah, exactly. That's actually pretty good for him. He does. Do you think he plays an MCT here? Just doesn't. I think he probably wants to empty most of his bananas this turn. Yeah, because he's about to draw a lot of new ones. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, he probably swaps the ooze, right? You can swap it back even. Yeah, he could swap it and then swap back later. <laughs> the old switcheroo, but decides he doesn't the actually go for the eight damage. Yeah. Consecration picked up a little too late for Nogit here. Yeah, it doesn't have the equality. Yeah, exactly. Looks like he's thinking about just dropping Tyrion. Or swapping the ooze into an 8 3 rotten banana and consecrating. Some play like that, that's what he's thinking of, I think. Yeah. Consecrates, clears the ooze. Sadly, he like he's been held off from playing Tyrion for a few turns now. Three big bananas. For that's Felix a lot here. of damage. It's a lot of bananas. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Nogit is dead. Is that it? That's six damage. To be Seven. honest, I think he'd be dead to regular bananas too. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh correct. yeah. Yeah, he but is really low. Still a lot of big bananas. I think the problem with that game for Nogit is that he should just have played Tyrion sooner. Yeah, he just kept them in his hand for so long. Yeah, he just decided to hold them and didn't really use them. And it seems like True Silver is a really awkward card in Paladin because a lot of the time you have the weapon from. The muster for battle. Wait, he won the first game, right? Wait, who won the first game? <laughs> okay, okay. So we're going we on go. to game three. Yes. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Okay, so this ends pretty good for Felix, but terrible for Nogit. Just nothing. Yeah, he's probably he wants. going to drop everything. Yeah. Actually keeps the trog. Interesting. Pretty slow to keep in this matchup, I think. Felix's deck is so fast. Yeah. Does get the zombie chow though. And the pyro for turn three. That's pretty or crazy. turn two. I don't actually think he wants the pyro on turn two though. I think he wants to he cold hold the pyro for something like equality. He definitely wants to muster next turn, I think. Interestingly enough, the muster gets instantly countered by the wild pyro banana. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. He can play wild pyro, the banana he gets from the chow, and then he can hit the 1 2 into the 2 3. Definitely a really strong turn. Mm hmm. But the DV banana, does that change? No, it, it just. Doesn't yeah, you can just use it on the zombie chow. Yeah. Or on his own pyromancer to make it tougher. Oh, good point. Yeah, that seems like a good play. Then it doesn't die to the token. Or to the weapon, I mean. Yeah. Mm, that was a really good turn. Countering Muster, leaving a 2-2 two, two, and two one ones. No get yeah. getting three Deviant Bananas and being able to counter Pyro. Which is is Pyro a... just the metagame in this format? <laughs> Seems like it. Pyro is the new Flame Waker and that's... It's a neutral Flame Waker and that's why they took away... Oh man, two big bananas for Felix though. He can actually ooze the weapon, but he doesn't know that Nogit actually has true silver. I he 
looks like he's just going to ooze dragon egg and then use a banana. Yeah, that seems like the plan. It kind of works, but man, he should actually... That's a good draw. No get you use the muster with the wild pyro. For that sweet, sweet combo. He gets three bananas yeah. off it. <laughs> that seems actually really good for no get this board position now. The only thing Felix has in response is just to teach her and um, big banana. He could actually teach her and then banana his 3 2 to kill the chow for free. Really unlucky bananas for no get though. Three deviant bananas and a rotten banana. He can't buff any Agreed. of his cards We've from Mustard. We've seen these deviant bananas be almost be terrible almost all day, except when people do amazing things with them all of a sudden. Yeah, it seems like they either are extremely terrible or they win the game. So Felix taps for more options. Yeah. Probably thinking about... He's probably thinking about Ooze or Teacher here. He can't teach her, he tapped. Yeah, he can't teach her anymore. Ooze. Yeah. Ooze, Big Banana, just the nice, good, old-fashioned, strong play. And I feel like he's gonna trade for the Chow. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah. And he does. Because if he trades for any other minion, the one ones are really efficient. Yet again, nothing he can buff his one ones with. Yeah, it's so bad. I assume he true silvers, right? And then yeah, he, he can actually swap one of the echoing uses and kill it, but then he will grossly overdraw. I mean, he could. Well. Yeah, he's going to overdraw. Unless he just ends up going face. Which I imagine he wouldn't. Yeah, he's not training for that ever, since he's just going to grossly overdraw. Yeah. And that swap is interesting. I guess he just wants to use his mana efficiently, and he's planning on doing something with the next turn, so I guess it makes sense. Now he Felix can actually teach her and banana his ooze, and then swap it back make it tougher. Yeah. Looks like he wants to drop the M-King boss. Yeah. Makes it really d easy to deal with the 1-1s, one but Violet Teacher is usually the better play. Especially with decides, a few bananas. Decides to go for the wrong banana instead. Oh, and switches and goes face, I think. Oh no, he clears one, so he can't, he doesn't just get insta killed by the true silver. That makes sense. So no get squeaks out a draw, his tenth card in hand, which is <laughs> interesting. Swaps that, clears it with a sword, and then he can big banana his. Oh, I guess he can do it the other way around. He can clear the he can clear the three three with the sword, and then use the big banana, the silver hand recruit, to kill the teacher. Yeah. Finally gets one to buff his minions. And just drops the trog for a minion. Yeah, exactly. I think he can... Deviant Ben has really bad against trog. I think he probably doom guards here, right? Yeah, Doomguard, he can get, just get rid of a few bananas or a zombie chow or something small. It's like he doesn't care enough about the cards in his hand, and he actually really... I guess he cares about Egg, so he's going to go Egg Doomguard, right? The thing yeah. is, he can't rely on the instinct of, oh, I don't want to discard cards when you're just getting a million cards every turn. Actually discards the Imp Gang boss, though. That's fine. You have so much to do with your mana. You have so many minions, so many bananas. But Wild Pyro, the draw for no get. Decides to Peacekeeper the 5-4. Thank you, Peacekeeper. Banana. Oh, huh. Interesting. That's Looks a good like play. He just, he just doesn't want to uh, get rid of the egg. Yeah, he wants to leave his opponent with as little as possible in play. But Big Bananas double in Felix's hand. Triple, Triple. now. 
triple big bananas. It means he can actually imp gang boss and, yeah, play a bunch of bananas. I don't think he even needs to tap. He's going to tap for more minions. Yeah, decides he draws Peacekeeper. Not quite sure what to Peacekeeper is. There's no real good target. This would be a super a superb turn for a Tyrion, to be honest. Yeah, so Felix has... doesn't look like he's running any silences, so f Tyrion would be super he, good. He went for the MCT instead of the silences. Interesting choice, actually. Okay, so the egg is probably getting swapped here, right? Yeah. You swap the egg, and then you rotten banana the 3-3, three, three, and you kill it with the egg, and then you can actually rotten banana something else and kill it with a chow, and then you can put the 2-4 into the 1-1 one, one after probably tapping for more cards or doing something else. Or there's probably multiple different ways to do that with the bananas in, an, in, a, in some other order. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm just mentioning one example. Yeah. Buffs the egg, taps into Sylvanas. Hmm. Decides not to play it. Interesting. Goes for a wild pyro line. I guess I like leaving up the egg against Consecration, for example. I assume that's only that's the last banana he'll play though, because he probably doesn't want to proc the pyro again after getting the egg and after getting the one one off the inking boss. Yeah. Pretty soft to Consecration here, though. Nogat does have a Pyro of his own. How many spells can Nogat cast? Oh my gosh! Though a problem here is that he doesn't actually have much left. Wait, wasn't the right play to there to buff the... I guess he's just leaving the egg. Okay. That feels wrong to me, though. I think he should go for the full clear, right? I guess he can't quite get through 7 health of egg. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to get through the, the Nerubian. This is a really good Sylvanas turn. Yeah, you Sylvanas, and then you Rotten Banana the 4-1, four, the four and then you double Big Banana and kill the 3-3. Three, three. Right? Yeah, as long as Nogit doesn't get a, a Rotten Banana, it is a really good Sylvanas. Exactly. Even big banana in his own egg to keep it alive. Yeah, I like that play, just because you want to play around the Consecration. Yeah. Oh, he's swapping the egg. I like that, actually. Or is, he, is he doing it? Yeah, just keeping it six. six uh, it's keeping it healthy, pretty much. It's going to be really healthy in a Rubian, isn't it? <laughs> so he does get the rotten banana and kills the Sylvanas before playing his minion. Yeah, Felix must be happy he, uh, that he kept... The, that he swapped now instead of getting it equality. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of bananas in both players' hands. Both players are completely out of gas. But the Warlock does have his hero power. He has a lot of mana to use it too. But Nogit has a huge Dragonkin Sorcerer though. Malganistron. Oh my gosh. But Dragonkin just kills it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really mean much. Yeah. Felix might tap here to see other options, but he looks like he really wants to play Malganus. possibilities. Yeah. Looks that way. Really scared of taking all of that damage. I assume he should I assume he should play Malganus here, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's not much else that he could draw. Exactly. You can probably start tapping next turn, but... Leroy drawn. Does Leroy do anything here? Oh, puts it- makes it into a 310. 
that's a power play, especially since Felix has no deviant banana of his own. Oh, void collar. He could have tapped into a void collar. So sad. Um, can he clear the sorcerer? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can exactly clear it. Right? Yeah, yeah. He, he clears it exactly, and then he can kill the... Yeah. Mm. But then he's completely out of everything, though. And he only gets three bananas total off his board. Left, left of the 3, 4, and a 4, 4. Though, Nogit does just have a Leroy in hand. Yeah. Felix has minions that, he, that actually stick on the board. And he can uh, tap into more minions. Leroy? Oh, he's gonna Leroy Consecration. Interesting. Yeah, he just gets to clear everything except the... Um, the egg. Except the egg. It's not great for him, but it's still the best he can do. Though he does, get, does give his opponent four bananas off the Leroy. That egg's going to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, wow. He taps right. Yeah, he taps first. Because he knows his opponent's out of burst. Echo uses off the top. The egg just trades with Leroy, right? Yeah, the egg just trades with Leroy, Leroy so he can't buff it up. Yeah, oh, and then the ooze gets really buffed. I think this might be it for Nogit. Yeah, almost. Has no Unless... really drawing. No, he can draw Tyrion. No, I mean, he has no card draw, really. Oh, yeah, I know, but Tyrion plus Big Banana Banana deals with his whole board here. Yeah. No, he can actually use the Ron Banana to pop the shield. Assuming he draws it. Just trust True Silver and has to use it on the Nerubian. Mind control tech, top tech. Interestingly enough, doesn't unload the bananas. I think that's correct play because he's just trying to top tech into the um, Tyrion, right? Yeah, he wants to buff up the Tyrion. Exactly. So that's his only out. That play makes a lot of sense. Felix just using every banana that he has to get as much damage on him as possible before Tyrion is drawn. Yeah. Draws Consecration, and I think that's it. Mm. Yeah, he's not. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. That is. Love is over for Nogit. The Paladin barely takes it down. So it looks no, like I mean the warlock, warlock. The warlock barely taking it down. Well so warlock wins day two of the 